Hi, I'm Cece, and this is Stalkholm, my base on our Minecraft server, and I love this place. I think it's one of the coolest bases I've ever made. And I've had a recent influx of viewers recently, so I thought it might be fun to do a little world tour, and just show you the current state of our server and everything that's going on. And I think the best place to start is this building right behind me. This is my architect's workshop, and also my project hub. This is where I store mainly like workbenches and furniture items. This is also where I manage my project boxes. Like this one here is for building up the houses around Stockholm, and this one's for the roofs of Stockholm. Over here, this one is for like landscaping cliffs, building the autumn areas, building like rail junctions. I, I'm, I'm really into trying to like streamline storage, you know? And that is the main design philosophy around the entirety of Stockholm. Basically every building in this place is dedicated to storing and managing a specific type of block. For example, this one stores all the dirts and soils, this one down here does stones, up there is for woods, and I also want to make Stockholm as interconnected as possible. I'm trying to design with the idea that there's no dead ends. So for example, through here, connects straight into my stone building. This is where I do all my like deep slate bricks, my stone bricks, like all my stone cutter stuff, and then through here connects to the actual stone storage, which is like a cave aesthetic which stores all of the individual stone types. I believe this is all the stone types. If it isn't, I'm going to be quite sad <laughs> because that means I have to change something. Over here is the terracottas and sandstone stuff, and just trying to have a place for everything that over here either goes back outside or it connects up top to my carpenters building which I made in a recent episode this is where I store all my wood types and like sticks and stuff and then this leads back out front which then takes you to the big tree I don't actually have a name for this yet I would like one uh, I don't really want to go as Yggdrasil I think it's too on the nose for like an autumn viking area to have an autumn tree called Yggdrasil. So if you have any ideas, uh, please put them in the comments because I can't think of anything better. <laughs> and underneath this connects to four different directions. Over here, that is the record shop which is currently unrenovated so we'll not show you that yet. Uh, over here is my landscaping shop. As I said before, this stores all the dirts and soils and such. And this is probably my most central building. I, I, I often use this as just like a run-through part because it has the main entrance which goes at the front. Then you've got like up here that goes to the tree, out there goes to the florist, and then down here goes out to the architect's building. Though I use this door the most often, so I might end up making this a bit more grand because it feels a bit weird to basically go through the alleyway to get into my uh, landscaping shop primarily. But out this way goes to this little crossroads bit here, which leads into my florist and like nature. All the plants and such get stored here, like leaves and vines and mushrooms and moss. And over here is where I store all the flowers. So once I eventually finish my flower farm area I made in the last episode, I should be able to ship it all here and have like a dedicated storage for it. Um, yeah, one of my other philosophies is I want to have like lots of smaller bases around the server that are dedicated to production of certain materials that all get brought back to here where I use as my main like central storage. Though there is still some stuff that is manufactured here, like down here is my bakery which is where I collect all my vegetables and food stuff. But in here we have a pumpkin chest which has a pumpkin farm down below which automatically whoop, you just heard it go off there and that ships pumpkins up top oh I think one just came in and as well as a chicken egg farm back here which puts eggs into the fridge and then a sugarcane farm down there as well so I can make pumpkin pies which is my main food source for this area Ooh. Down this way is, here is the tailors, this is where I store all my wool and like carpets and banners and such. And this is the only storage in the entirety of Stockholm which is automated. Back here 
is a like actual storage system which has a minecart that brings in wool from my wool farm elsewhere in my base. But if I go back out here, there's an enderman who is completely annihilating down here. What the heck are you doing, bud? <laughs> Uh, this is my underground section, which I started work on, but honestly, I'm I'm tempted to not go ahead with it because I think it kind of goes against the whole like aesthetic of Stalkholm, of having this sort of interconnected building network. And going underground feels like I'm sort of cheating with that. So I might have a few things down here that like would be too ugly for up top, but I'm gonna use that as little as possible. So over here, underneath the autumn tree, is a little market area where I'm going to store like one-off items, things that don't really fit any specific categories like totems or uh I guess this will be to I guess it'll just be totems down here. I can't think of anything else off the top of my head right now. But it's I think it's just adds a nice bit of color. Breaks up the um, excessive amounts of orange and brown. <laughs> uh round here is Oh, I I don't know if I mentioned this yet. Uh, it's not usually this snowy around here. This is this is just for Christmas. Uh, I regret doing this because it took like 10 minutes to put down, but I know it's going to take a lot longer to, to get rid of. I'm going to constantly miss bits. I'm going to be finding snow for the rest of the year. <laughs> but uh, over here is my Neverite Forge. This is uh, really cool. So basically, you throw ancient debris down into this hole, into this lava flowy here, and it goes up the back and down these two basins here and get smelted up. It gets sent back up top and then it goes into this dispenser up here. Uh, and then once four netherite scrap end up in there, it'll drop them down and let you craft them. Uh, right next door to it though is my redstone workshop. This is where I make all my redstone components. And I love the, uh, the gears on the back of this wall here. I think they look really cool. Uh, and I think that's all of the currently in use buildings. Over here is my old stone storage, which uh, I kind of outgrew, and I also needed to bring it closer to all the other places because it was annoying to have to keep coming all the way right to the edge of the storage area to get probably the most useful block. Same as wood. Like this used to be my, this used to be my old carpenters, but then like they added too many wood types. There's not enough wood storage in here. This over here is my map. So you can see Stockholm is, I believe, the biggest area on the server, like by quite a bit. Like this isn't even everything. It's it's cutting off a little bit of like the area at the bottom. And I think this is six maps big, yeah. So everything I've shown you so far is this bit here. So I'm gonna do a quick run through the like farm area and then we will cover the most interesting part of this base, which is this building here. So there is my bee farm, which is currently broken because everything I build eventually breaks. Nothing ever lasts. I'm currently standing on top of my firewatch tower. This is necessary. It's very flammable around here. Look at all the trees and the wood and the stuff. So having these scattered around is going to be integral. I'm going to need a few more because I believe one of these has a range of 128 by 128 blocks, which is roughly the size of a Minecraft map. And since this is six Minecraft maps big, I'm going to have to get at least five more of these towers scattered around. Uh, over here is my... Uh, animal barn. This is just purely decorative, but over here is functional. This is my wool farm I mentioned earlier. This is where all of the wool gets sorted, and I seem to have run out of shears, because this guy should be sheared up. I didn't have great planning with this place, because my main storage is over there, where I spend like 90% of my time. This is exactly one chunk away from being loaded, so it's basically never running, and that means it's completely like wasting. Oh, I, I could I could have like ten times as much wool by now if I just build it one chunk closer. It's so annoying. And then over here is my old uh, food farm. It still works partly. Well, these two work because over here a pillager raid spawned at one point. Ow! I just broke that. Whatever. A pillager raid spawned at one point up there and shot down a hellfire of arrows. Uh, basically obliterating the villagers that lived here. <laughs> so 
Yeah, and also lightning struck this place at one point and completely burned to the ground. So it's a bit cursed, this area. And then over here is a bunch of like abandoned buildings that I haven't really got uses for right now. Except from over here, where there is my stables. Because I got really into animal breeding for a while. <laughs> like here is my llamas. Uh, each of the carpets on their back uh, denotes how much storage space they have. So this one here has four. Oop. This one, nope, it, oh god, I'm stuck. This one has one, orange has two, yellow has three, green has four, and then over here, magenta has the full five. And I have never actually used these guys, because llamas aren't really that useful on the server. Uh, over here is my horse tester, which like tests the speed of the horses, and then also got a jump test. But I didn't fully understand how horse breeding worked, so I basically wasted my time. Like, I, I actually got worse horses by breeding because I just didn't understand how it worked. So I'll have to come back to this now. They have changed how horse breeding works. And that takes us to the end of Stockholm. So I'm going to quickly head back to the, me the main central area and we can show off the really cool rail system we use on this server. So, back here at the Architects building, just to its left, is Stockholm Station. And I love this thing, because this is the fully automated rail system we have across the entire server. It is so cool, and I'll give you a quick demonstration of how it works. So over here is the ticket board, and you just need to pick a station you want to go to. So I want to go to Litterfall. So all you need to do is just go in here and throw out one of each of these tickets. Then go over here where the minecart will drop out. There it is. Then you just need to take one of the minecarts out of here and just sit here and then press the button. Then the tickets inside that minecart will basically tell the rail which way to send us. And in this case, it will send us to Litterfall, my next base. And here we are arriving at Litterfall. Isn't that so cool just having like the, the minecart just take you where you want to go? Oh, it's amazing. So, I will soon have a video which goes into the mechanics of this and how you can build it yourself. So make sure you get subscribed so you can see that in the future. So this here is Litterfall. This is my lumber yard, I suppose, where I collect all my wood and such. So this here is a tree farm that I managed to embed inside of a building. It was not easy, but I believe I used the logical geek boy design for the interior like redstone and then I just tried my best to fit a house around it. And this works pretty simply, so if I just go in here and grab some saplings and then pull the lever and then just hold down right click, it will start just pushing They'll start growing and then pushing the trees over, and you can hear some booms outside. I'll quickly go into Cheeky Cat. So out here is a TNT dispenser, which just blows up all the wood and just collects it into a little basin. And I, I love this. It's so cool. I, I, it's Tree farms are so ugly, so trying to make it actually look nice was a real challenge, but I think I did a good job at it. Let's just turn it off quickly. So yeah, up top here is just a dispenser because we try our best to avoid any like what we view as cheaty mechanics stuff like tnt duping or even like iron farms which we're trying to see how well you can play minecraft without relying on like overpowered stuff and so far we're doing pretty well i genuinely don't think we're struggling on anything specifically and then all the wood gets uh, dispensed up into this chest here where I believe this farm can grow oak, birch, and jungle wood. I think I could possibly modify it to grow um, spruce trees too, though I don't really think that's necessary since uh, spruce wood isn't exactly hard to come by in a mega tiger. <laughs> it's kind of everywhere. 
Uh, over here is my storage building. It's still a little bit under construction, but it is functional enough, except for this room, which is my completely busted uh, bone meal farm. So this is the farm that basically stocks up all the bone meal for that tree farm. And I left it running when I left the area and it has completely gone kaput. So, um, yeah, I need to fix this at some point, but I'm tempted to move it elsewhere. Why is this going off? Do not know. Anyway, uh, yeah, I need to do some testing. I need, I need, I'm thinking of moving this to somewhere different. I don't really love where it is right now. And that's all I've got in Litterfall as of right now. I eventually plan on having like a full lumber mill over here, but I was waiting until crafters get added. Because I think it'd be fun if I had like a like a, a, a fully automated system for getting different types of wood stuff. So, uh, let's head back over to the station where we can head to our next destination. So over here in Litterfall Station, we instead use buttons because I don't really need to go to as many places from here. It's basically just my base, spawn, and then Fennec, which is actually directly connected to this place by rail. Like, but it's like just over there. So all I need to do for this one is just press this button and it will flip that rail there. Then I just get into here and then it will just take us over. I've got these bits here that flip up. I think that's really fun. And this here is Fennec. This is our train yard where we make all the materials to create the actual whole rail system. Oop, there's a minecart currently here, so let's just break that. There's no actual station here yet. I just kind of forgot to build it. <laughs> I'll get back to that at some point. So, this is the Fennec storage room. This is where all the magic happens, because in here is where we craft up all the components used to actually build the whole rail system and also store all the raw materials used to craft up said components. And the other buildings here are what supply this building. So, this is our super smelter building. This is where we smelt up all our metals and anything that needs to be cooked. This is a custom design by Kieran and it looks very industrial, it's very cool. Almost looks like it's water cooled or something. Uh, the issue is that it is currently out of commission because we just aren't making enough bamboo to actually keep up with the the speed of the super smelters. So yeah, I need to sort something out with that. Outside is the actual bamboo farm. I don't exactly know what's wrong with it right now, but there is a reason it's turned off. I just can't remember why. But it is designed so it doesn't break when you leave. Oh, it's a sheep. No, it is running. I think it's the collection system that's got some problems with it. I don't really know what, though. Over here is the higgledy piggledy mess of uh, rails that supply up the super smelter. And this is intentionally insane. <laughs> it's just really funny seeing the minecarts just run around like. It's, oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's very funny. We try to have as much like movement around here as possible and minecarts are perfect for that having these like minecarts run along all these like rails just adds a lot of character to the place over here is our wheat and sugarcane farm this is for making the target blocks and the tickets and there's currently some llamas being tortured yeah don't ask me and all of these buildings will actually output items on this rail here and send it all over to the storage room where it gets emptied out and then sent through the storage system. So it's a fully automated area. You barely need to do anything actually manual here. Oh, also down here is a slime farm. I would go down, but uh, it takes a while and I don't want to go down there. <laughs> but this also gets filtered all the way into the storage system and deposited all the stuff there. It's very cool. I love it. And then over here is our actual storage bit. And I bet this place is completely ransacked. Whoa, look at that grass. Whoa, Jesus, that's a lot of clay. But there's loads of stuff here. What is this?
Oh my god. Oh my god! <laughs> There's even a raw diamond ore here. Is that an enchanted golden apple? Alright, okay. Okay, I have to come back here at some point and uh, sneak away some of these items. <laughs> and then these two buildings over here are just sort of set dressing. This one here is a lumber mill. I like to imagine the lore of this place is that like Fennec hired uh, Littlefall to come over here and basically stock them up with some like equipment. So that's why the roofs are very similar. And not because I just like making roofs like that. Oh, and one more thing. We have this aqueduct here that's meant to like sort of supply water to the like wheat and bamboo farms. Not bamboo, the wheat and sugarcane farms. And Kieran decided to be very extra when making the conveyor wheel and use shulker boxes for it. It does look cool. It's just why? Well, because it looks cool, that's why, but it's still Yeah. <laughs> very impressive. And I believe that's everything here. I will be covering this area in more detail in my rail video, because there's some really interesting like mechanics behind this roundabout here, and I would like to uh I think it's a good like use cases. It does a little bit of everything, you know. And I believe that is now everywhere that I have uh, base-wise on the server, except for the Cherry Blossom area I made in the last video. But, well, we saw that in the last video, so if you want to see more of that, go check that video out. Now, I'm not the only person who plays on this server. I have some friends who do some stuff all over, and they have some really cool builds themselves. I don't think I can go into as much depth about their buildings as I can about mine, so... I think I might just do some pretty shots that show off some of the different areas of the server. So I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you next time with some actual product productivity. <laughs> it's quite rare for me. Ooh, hello. Bye!